Hey, welcome ladies and gentlemen, be here with the UntitledGameshow.com, here for a review of what you see right here in my hand. Well, what this is, this is a 3.5mm portable speakers for iPod, iPhones, and MP4s. I was talking about this last week on my channel, I put up a video, said I was going to review a bunch of products, and this is one of those products. Alright guys, so let me go ahead into detail on how much this product actually costs and where is it sold. First, it's sold on Amazon.com, it's sold by a company, a third party reseller that's called East Mall, but it is available for Amazon Prime customers for $9.69 and I'm going to go into depth on what I actually think of the product after using it for about one week heavily for every single day at work and I've used it a few times at home. Alright guys, so let's go on ahead how you actually go ahead and set it up. Once you get it in the mail guys, it's going to come in a small little box. It was such a small box I didn't feel like it was worth doing an unboxing of it. You have to put in two AAA batteries as you guys see right here. There's a little red strip inside. Once you move that out of the way, you perfectly fine slot two AAAs in there and you'll work basically fine. One quick pro tip guys, make sure you guys have it set off before you actually go ahead and plug it into your phone, PC or anything else you want to use it with. So right here the on off button is right there as you guys see. So right there I just set it on on position but we're going to put it in off position. So let me go ahead and explain why I personally got this and why I have been using it for last week. In my current job I cannot wear headphones at work but I do have the ability to listen to music and other media whether on my phone or I have to take a test on the computer at work or whatever I need to do. I have an active job but I do have access to use my phone and it's not really a big issue at the job. But headphones are a definitely no-no and because it's extremely, extremely loud where I work, guys. It's extremely loud, a lot of noise, and it's hard to hear stuff even with headphones on. And headphones could actually impair me doing my job. But this would be perfectly fine. I could plug it into, let's say, the iPod right here, which is what I usually use it with. And from the iPod, I could hear the music or if it's a YouTube video that I downloaded or whatever else it might be, I could just go ahead and actually listen to the content or mostly what I use it for specifically is I put this in my shirt pocket and listen into podcasts. So I'm going to plug it in right now and um, show you guys how it sounds. But that's the use case that I personally have for this. I can't use headphones at work. But I can listen to the music and I can listen to podcasts while I do my job. It's perfectly okay. So this actually comes in real hand handy for me. Okay, guys. Um, another use for this, guys, what I've seen other people who leave Amazon reviews on Amazon.com is the fact that if you're in bed, certain apps like the HBO Go app is not particularly loud. So sometimes a little boost from this little tiny speaker works out pretty well. Now, there's a lot of mini, mini portable speakers, but the one reason I got this, first thing first, let's go on with the review, is the aesthetics. This looks pretty nice. I love the look of this. It actually kind of match the iPod style. Right now, my iPod is in this case right now, but if you guys have seen this case before, this is my E4 City case. I did a review on this like a year ago, and I was so surprised thousands of people were actually watch that video because they all wanted to buy this case. This case is like literally only $2 and it's like the best iPod case out there. Anyways, this is quite cheap and if you look at the style of it, it looks really nice like Apple design. If you've already seen the screw holes of course because Apple wouldn't really do screws but it's a nice design. It sounds pretty great as well. So let's go ahead and plug it in but first before we do that let's listen to some classical music without it plugged into the iPod. Let's turn it up to max. Don't worry about seeing it but just hopefully you guys can hear it. Skip ahead. All right, that's without it plugged in. Now we're going to plug it in and put it at max. Once again, once you plug it in, guys, just keep it in the off position. Go ahead and flip the on switch. You might want to turn it down a little bit before you turn everything up. Go ahead and press play. Then let's turn it up. If you guys have noticed, yes or not, it does have a drastic difference in the amount of quality of sound coming out. Let me turn it down. But yeah, the sound is way louder once you have this plugged in, whether it's coming clear through the video. The sound quality is stereo. It's not the greatest sound quality ever because it's only $9 and it's only being powered by two AAA batteries. But if you're in a situation where you just need louder audio when you're watching something in bed and don't want to put on headphones, or you have a situation where you need to be in a loud environment and you want to hear some music, even if you can't hear it clearly, you still want to be able to hear it humming along in the background. This works out perfectly, especially for me at least. In my, my experience, this has been working great for me, as you hear. So that's with it in plugged in, and here's what it plugged out. 
and that's at max volume. So as you guys see, it basically doubles the volume of this old school iPod right here. Now I did go ahead and test this out on many different devices. If in, you're in the case and you're like, um, want to use it with your 3DS, let's say, here's um, Pokemon. Now here's Pokemon with it in. So yes, as you guys might be able to hear, it should be a lot louder, and it is a lot louder to me actually. And I try to go ahead as well. Here's like on a Sony phone. Here's a Sony Xperia Z1. This is my new current phone. And I'm going to be doing how-tos and a review of this phone in the coming days. It's going to look a lot better, guys. I'm going to have the lights off and make sure. I'm going to be doing a lot of tips about this phone because there's a lot of little nuances about this phone that's not very obvious when you first get out of the box. So let's go ahead and listen. Give it a second. Skip ahead. All right, guys. If you can't tell, that is a lot louder than it normally is on the phone, like right now. I didn't turn it all the way up before, but the Sony Xperia Z1 is actually a pretty loud phone itself, so that's not bad. But it also works with the Vita, so I've actually tested it on a bunch of different um, devices. Let's say if you're watching Netflix on your Vita or whatever else you might be watching on the Vita. The Vita speakers especially, this is great for the Vita because the Vita um, speakers are extremely low. I can't believe how low Sony actually made the Vita speakers. So a lot of times when playing games on the Vita, you're not going to be able to actually hear what's going on, especially with a lot of the Vita games actually having voice acting because they're almost counterparts to the PlayStation 3 versions of games. So this actually works out really well when you're playing games on the Vita, especially even if you're doing remote play for a game like Assassin's Creed. I played Assassin's Creed and sometimes it's kind of hard to hear the game from the Vita. So plugging this in, even with this extra case that I have on the Vita right now, which I did a review on last week, it's still works perfectly fine even with the case all right guys so that's been my quick little review of this 3.5 millimeter portable speakers there's a lot of other types of three millimeter portable speakers on amazon and on ebay as well but this one is really compact it doesn't have any long usb cables doesn't have any long extension it plugs directly into the device which is specifically what i personally need because what i do i plug it into this into my case i put it into my um breast pocket on my shirt and once it's in there it continues playing music all day long um just note guys make sure you guys go ahead and flip the off button once you're using it because it needs to be off because it will drain your battery guys and once it starts losing battery the sound quality definitely does take a hit because i've used it for one week straight to make sure that i guys can give you good details about it guys even once the battery starts getting lower and lower you definitely hear a difference in sound i actually have some old batteries i could put in there just to show you guys but that's pointless guys just know keep the batteries fresh and just you'll notice a sound difference once the batteries start running out hope you guys like the little review right here like i said i have reviews coming up for the sony xperia z one s and i have a bunch of tips for this phone guys this phone's actually pretty awesome guys there's some playstation apps and a lot of other stuff on here too but a lot of reviews coming for this a lot of tips coming for this and i still got tips coming and reviews coming for tales of symphonia as well so wait for those stuff guys thanks for joining me today be here with the ontologameshow.com as always guys if you're going to be picking this up make sure you guys check out my amazon link in the description or just click where it says buy with amazon it'll bring you over to the ontologameshow.com where there's the link to buy right there all right guys till next time make sure you guys like and subscribe peace out